So you… you said so many things, I try… you know, whatever these big words are floating all over California particularly, about surrendering to it, about letting it go, about… Not for one person has such a thing worked, ever. Has it? I'm asking you. You have anxiety, try to let it go. Does it go? Even a flu, damn flu doesn't go. Yes or no? Even a simple cold does not go, you say go, does it go? So, let's not get into this fanciful states of surrendering, these are all words thrown around. Nobody knows what is surrender <laughs> because when it happens, you will not know it has happened. <laughs> you can't do it, I surrendered. How is that possible? People are talking about detachment because of fear of suffering. Fear of suffering has come because when they involve, they get entangled. They do not know how to get involved, they just get entangled. Entanglement is happening because your involvement is very discriminatory. Without involvement in every aspect of life, you will get skewed. And that is when psychologically you get messed up so much that in many ways mind gets deranged. Seeing this, somebody said, you are too attached, you must be detached. No, detachment will not work either. Can you be detached and do something well? Can you do something well being detached about it? No, you need absolute involvement. If you have an indiscriminate sense of involvement, you will see there is no entanglement in your involvement. If you discriminate, you will get entangled. The problem is of discrimination, not of involvement. It is the responsibility of the social fabric to create the right atmosphere for every individual to grow towards what is beautiful for the individual and for everybody else around him. But not always or rarely, societies conduct this responsibility in the right sense because societies are not led, societies, societies are al allowed to go through a metamorphosis depending upon what is the influence in that direction it grows. Your body, your mind, your emotion and your energy. If you manage these four things well, they will produce a certain level of life for you. If you have a healthy body, you will live in one way. If you have a very stable and sharp mind, you live another way. If you have stable and exuberant emotions, you live another way. If you have a very effervescent sense of energy, which is also balanced at the same time, you live another way. Now, for most human beings who are in different various levels of activity in their life, they need all these four things to be in a reasonably good shape. So, Inner Engineering is trying to cater to that as to how to bring a human being to physical health, mental peace and joy, emotional stability and exuberance, and highly effervescent energy and balance within themselves. If this is achieved, you have reasonably complete human beings who will live their life fully. If you are in good health, if you are in very good health and if you are eating the right kind of food, when you empty your bowels, nothing, not a speck should remain in your colon. Everything should be gone. In yoga, that's very, very important, your colon being clean. Otherwise, it'll get into your head. Really, your colon not clean and psychological disturbances are very directly connected. In the yogic understanding of life, after you wake up, Within twenty minutes, naturally if the bowels don't empty themselves completely, that means you're in ill health or you're heading there quickly, both physical and psychological. It could be either, depending upon whichever is weakest in you, will break fast. First thing if you go to an Ayurvedic doctor, whatever your problem, first thing is he'll purge you.
because keeping the colon clean is very important. 